Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. So today is day three of Mega Movie Week where you can pick up films for as little as $2.99. And also day three where I will be suggesting a great film to show off that OLED or QLED display. All the films that I will be recommending will be in 4K, HDR or Dolby Vision and maybe even HDR 10 Plus. Just got to say a massive thanks to every single person who has subscribed to my channel because today we have hit the 11,000 subscriber mark. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits and if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be in this fortunate position that I am in. So I do really appreciate every single person who subscribes to the channel so thank you so very much. Right so before we start with today's recommendation I just thought I'd uh, share with you some of the uh, movies that I picked up last night and uh, you know while they're this cheap it's uh, rude not to pick up a load of them and no doubt I'll pick up more over the uh, coming days because uh, don't forget they do generally add to the uh, existing ones that are on there so don't think that what's on there at the moment is final quite often they will just add more and more as the week goes on so uh make sure you just keep checking it every single day and uh, again just for you guys who are outside of the uk don't forget especially with uh when it comes to sort of apple you can create a another account and uh pretend shall we say that you are within the uk and in and you can uh, then pick up all these titles for the uh low prices so anyway yeah just having a quick look now so i picked up uh bright burn um don't know what this one's like but i think this one was 4.99 because it's uh, a newer film but that's in uh 4k and uh dolby vision also i picked up the uh johnny english set there again I've never seen uh, any of these films before, but I do like Rowan Atkinson uh, generally as Mr. Bean. So it'd be interesting to see him in a different type of comedy. Um, I think the first two are just uh, regular HD, if I remember rightly. Let's just check. Yeah. But I think the latest one is something a bit better. Yeah, 4K HDR on that one. Also picked up um, Halloween. Now, I did see this one at the cinema. Thought it was a, a good film, and I think this will be really good on the OLED. Uh, this TV at the moment, for anyone who doesn't know, is my Samsung 65-inch Q90R. Uh, yeah, and this one is in 4K HDR, but a lot of dark scenes, so I think it will uh, probably favour the OLED, that one. Um, moving on... Um, Got the old classic there of Zombieland. I like that film. I can't remember what resolution that's in. I think it's 4K. Oh, 4K Dolby Vision. So, yeah, that one should look really good. And I'm looking forward to Zombieland 2 when that comes out uh, any day now. And also the new spin-off from Fast and Furious, the Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, not seen this. And this is in 4K Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. But uh, I like... Uh, the films that the rocks in generally and I quite like the Fast and Furious uh, franchise it's uh, you know quite easy to watch films you know you don't again don't take them too seriously but you know they're enjoyable nonetheless right moving on to today's recommendation and today it is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse now I can honestly say I am not into Spider-Man really or any of uh, sort of those type of films if I'm honest um, but I've heard things about this that you know made me want to buy it just for the visuals if nothing else really I mean I'm sure the kids will watch it but um, resolution wise it is in 4k we have Dolby Vision uh, Vision Dolby Vision even and uh, Dolby Atmos and uh, I'll be honest I have not watched this film all the way through. I picked it up last night and I've just had a bit of a skip through it and that. And yeah, this thing doesn't disappoint. Again, even if you're like me and you know, you're not into these types of films or anything like that, I'd still say just to pick it up as purely a demo more than anything. $2.99, I think it was. 
and yeah it just looks absolutely amazing i've got it's probably one of the best things i've ever actually seen now I'll, I'll be honest i've not tried it on the oled um uh, i've just tried it on the qled but yeah it looks stunning if you know you flick through you get some films where you know you get your standout moments you're like, oh that looks good this you flick through it and everything's like one of those moments everything looks absolutely amazing so moving on to standout parts in this film well like i said if i'm honest i haven't watched the whole thing i've just skipped through it but a few things that did uh sort of jump out at me like i said even though that everything does seem to just look amazing anyway um is a scene at let me just get, grab my piece of paper and that is the 29 minute mark and yeah it goes on for a, a few seconds and it yeah just looks jaw-dropping to be honest Particularly this little bit here where you see the uh, the water on the, the road. You get the brightness from the reflections off of that. And yeah, it just looks really, really nice. I, I can't really show you very well on the camera at the moment because when I turn the brightness up on the TV, it's just blowing it out. So you'd have to see it in person uh, for yourselves. Of course, because I'm doing this on the QLED, it is just in regular HDR, so it may look even better in Dolby Vision. But yeah, I'd uh, check out that bit for sure. So the next scene that I'm going to recommend starts at roughly the 35 minutes and 20 second mark. Uh, it goes on for a little while, this, and uh, but the standout bit that really does pop in this sort of uh, scene is actually at the 35 minute and 44 second mark um, where we see this scene here and yeah if you want to see some black levels against some brightness this is a really good bit to watch it goes on for a few seconds uh, it goes actually I'll probably be all right let's play it just for a split second normally I can't play uh, moving images Anything over a certain amount of time gets picked up and will get uh, my video deleted. There we go. So yeah, then you get this scene here and it just so pops off the screen. Um, again, you've got to see it in person. It's really bright. You get the dark levels there. And again, I've got to say the QLED is doing an amazing job with this. Um, and I can imagine it's only going to look even better again on the OLED with that pitch black and that brightness. I say the scene goes on for a little bit, some sort of uh, few sort of like cut scenes. If I could maybe if I fast forward, fast forward five seconds. I've got to be real careful here. Fast forward five seconds. Uh, probably taking a bit too much of a risk now but yeah anyway trust me if just play it from there and you'll see what i mean it, it's the again it's the contrasty bits in all of these movies that really stand out you know because this is what these tvs are about you know those bright bits against the dark levels and all that and yeah this film is just well like i said i've not seen it all the way through but from what i've seen it just looks absolutely stunning and just for 2.99 you know, what's that price of a coffee? It's got to be worth it just as a demo piece to show off to people when they come round. You know, the good thing is, you know, you do get these demos built on the TVs and that, but they're generally only sort of for 30 seconds. You know, this is a, like a demo that goes on for one hour, 20 minutes. You know, you can't go wrong. And if you've got kids, you know, I'm sure they'll like it anyway. So uh, I'd recommend uh, picking it up. So before we wrap this video up, I've got a favour to ask you guys, and that is just for some recommendations of things that you'd like to see me unbox and test out over the uh, coming year. Now, I seem to be well known for uh, me TV unboxings and tests on those, but um, what other things is there that you'd like to see me uh, try out tech-wise? You know, could be absolutely anything, you know, from, you know, maybe computers, consoles or anything like that you know i'm looking at potentially getting the brand new consoles when they come out would you guys like to see me uh, unbox them and test those out with uh, tvs but uh you know just other anything technology you know phones watches um even like maybe appliances or anything that like that you know like a washing machine or fridge fresh uh, fridge freezer should i say um anything just absolutely anything that could be re related to sort of tech 
please let me know because I want to sort of diversify a little bit this year. And uh, yeah, I still will do all the TV based stuff, but I'd also like just to sort of do a, a big sort of selection of stuff so I can sort of uh, appeal to a, uh, a wider audience really. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today. And if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.